Welcome back everyone. So chapter 35 um, is on the lymphatic system. We're going to do a quick review on what the lymphatic system is and then we're going to look at why we um, need to know about the lymphatic system. How is it relevant to dentistry? So the lymphatic system, if you look over here, is um, the, there's green lines that are running all over the body and those are basically just some channels that you'll see and these channels are carrying a fluid and that fluid is known as lymph okay so it's known as lymph and so this video over here i do encourage you guys to watch that video because it goes over what the lymphatic system is and really um i kind of like the explanation that they gave because what they said was imagine yourself at the airport and you know how when you're at the airport and you're going through a security uh, checkpoint and as you're going into, through the security checkpoint, um, they make sure that you're not carrying anything dangerous. And that's kind of what the lymphatic system does. It carries lymph, it carries fluid, okay, all over your body. And then as you hit a node, so you see those dots over here, those are lymph nodes. And we're going to focus on the ones on the head and neck area. There are lymph nodes over here. And when you pass those lymph nodes, that lymph node is a security checkpoint. You stop there, they do a full pat down on you if you were at the airport, and then you move on. So the lymph node acts as a filter. What the lymph node does is it removes all the waste and all the toxins and all the bad stuff in your body and it filters it out. Okay, so a lymph node is a filter. So what does the lymphatic system do? The lymphatic system basically gets rid of all the toxins and all the waste from your body. And it does that by um, going through checkpoints. So there's lymph nodes where they, you know, uh, they look at the lymph, they look at the fluid, and they take out all the bad stuff. So we'll, we'll look at more examples. So here we have the circulatory system, which is your arteries and veins. So this is where your blood runs. And then we have the lymphatic system and they're kind of intertwined. So if you put them both together, imagine that the, the lymphatic system is intertwined into the circulatory system. So these are lymphatic vessels or tubules. And what is what's happening? So we have blood flow, right? And we know that the blood goes from an artery and then goes back to the vein and to the heart and so on. Now what's happening is over here, as it's going from an artery to a vein, there's an exchange happening over here where the capillary is. Some of the fluid from the blood, okay, so some of the fluid from the blood, which are known as lymph. So the fluid from the blood is known as lymph. They come out and then they get filtered through the lymph nodes, and the lymph nodes is like a checkpoint. They check to see, you know, is is there anything bad here? Is there any toxins here? If so, we're going to filter it out. Um, and then they go back to the vein and then kind of circulates again. Okay, so the lymph nodes are those big dots that you see here, those big blobs that you see here. And then the lymphatic vessels or tubules, they're those green lines that you see over here. So again, they kind of get the blood plasma has a liquid portion. That liquid portion comes out, which is known as your lymph. It's also uh, known as extracellular fluid. And the extracellular fluid comes out, goes through lymph nodes where it gets checked to make sure that it's all good stuff inside there. And then it just goes back into the vein and then goes down the heart and artery and so on and so forth. So the lymph nodes are basically, um, and again, those lymph nodes are those big dots that you see here, they're filters. So they filter out all the bad stuff. And so sometimes if you have a swollen lymph node, which you know some of you guys may have had, especially if you have a sore throat or a cold or an infection, your lymph nodes may be swollen. You may remember your doctor, you know, checking your lymph nodes when you go uh, and, and when you go to the doctors to complain uh, about, you know, how you're not feeling well. So there are many reasons why you can get a swollen lymph nodes. And again, the reason why this happens is because your lymph node is getting filtered. So one of the function of a lymph node is to filter out all the bad stuff. And so there's infection going on, which is a bad stuff, and that's why it's getting swollen. So in the head and neck area, we have many, many uh, different types of lymph nodes. So let's go over some of them. So occipital, remember this is your occipital bone. So we have nodes or lymph nodes right along the um, base of the skull. So it's behind the ear 
And imagine there's blood vessels and lymphatic vessels all around here, like all around the head. And so they all kind of go and drain into these lymph nodes and then they filter out all the bad stuff and then they kind of move along. So the occipital node, which is this one over here, it drains all the stuff drains the crown of the head, so the crown of the head, all the stuff from the crown, of the crown of the head goes here, it gets filtered, and then it goes down. Mastoid, so mastoid is right behind the ear, and the back of the scalp kind of goes over here, drains over here, and then moves on. So um, all the lymphatic vessels, you kind of have to imagine that they're all over the skull, and they have to drain somewhere, they have to get filtered somewhere. The lymph from the vessels have to get filtered somewhere, so they get filtered either in um, when in any of these nodes, depending on where it's closest. The preauricular or parotid node, remember this is a parotid gland, so that's why it can be called a preauricular or parotid, preauricular like in front of the ear, auricular means ear. And what does it drain? It drains the anterior head above the eye, so it's closest to the anterior portion of the head, so imagine all the vessels and lymphatic fluid over here, they kind of go down over here, they get filtered, over here is like a checkpoint. They make sure that everything is good. All the bad stuff comes out and then they work their way down. Submandibular, so we know this is your mandible right here. So we have lymph nodes that are right here, submandible or submandibular lymph nodes. And what do they do? They do the same thing. They drain and imagine there's lymphatic vessels and blood vessels all over here. So what they're draining is they're draining the gum, the gingiva, some of the teeth, uh, or majority of the teeth and some and the tongue. Okay, they're all kind of drained here. The checkpoint is over here, and then they move on. And then lastly, the submental and submental is underneath your chin, and it drains. So imagine again, there's vessels over here, and they kind of go through this checkpoint over here, and it drains the inferior portion of the tongue. So the bottom of the tongue, the floor of the mouth, the tip of the tongue. And here's what's interesting, the lower incisors, so the front teeth at the bottom, they get drained here. All the other teeth get drained. Um, and we'll look at more about the uh, where the teeth get drained, but the submandibular takes a lot of the teeth, all the, most of the teeth get drained here. Submental, there are some, like the lower incisors that do get drained over here, and then they move on.